Halo Infinite's next narrative event, Sight Unseen, details have just been revealed which actually looks like we'll get an idea of what's behind the door on Live Fire and a lead multiplayer dev at 343 leaves for another game studio. So if you want to know everything, make sure you stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So if you've been playing Halo Infinite recently, you've probably noticed the door bottom mid of Live Fire, making this eerie type of sound. Well, it seems like with the narrative event coming on May 2nd, we'll finally know what's going on behind that door. Also, if you guys want to support the channel, make sure you tap that like button. It is the best way to help out the video channel within that all famous YouTube algorithm. And if you're new to the channel, we'll stay up to date with everything going on with Halo. And you're part of the 71% of people who are not subscribed to the channel. Well, you know what to do. The description of the event, Sight Unseen, has been leaked out saying catch up with Spartan Den and explore the depths of the Spartan Academy in the Sight Unseen event. From May 2nd to 16th, complete the free 10 tier event pass and unlock more Mirage customization. So what's behind the door? The event pass also comes with an entire set of armor you can unlock for free. So let's we'll go through that's already stuff that's in the game right now, just needs to be able to be unlocked. So you have the Util Superpower Outback Shoulders, the Bellus Helmet, the whole 21 Corda attachment for that Bellus Helmet, the Blue Pop Visor, Bold Industry Armor Coating, the UA Front Plate for or the Utility, the Field Analyst Stance. Funny thing is that Spartan Din was actually a Field Analyst for Oni before becoming a Spartan. The Detection Protocol Backdrop, as well as the Util I Spy 2 Chest Armor. Rumor has it that this event is going to set up the narrative for Season 4, which is supposed to bring Infection in which it looks like Eratus is going to be infecting Spartans, so not your typical zombie type of Spartans that we've had traditionally in Halo, but much more of an AI infection. No word on what kind of mode is going to be tied in with this event, though I do feel like we'll get some new bit of content with this narrative event with the map plaza that's supposed to be recreated in Forge that's supposed to come out later in Season 3. Well, we're later into Season 3 now. This would be a perfect time to have a reloaded type of season moment and bringing in a new map to play for some new experiences would be a great way to do that. 343's community manager actually replied to a user on Twitter asking about, it's been six weeks we've been to Season 3. Is there anything else coming out? What's the roadmap for Season 4? And the community manager, Unishek, replied saying that they're just focused right now on season three and getting everything that they wanted to get out the door out the door but they do have some good stuff coming in with season four the person asking the question talks about plaza coming in anytime soon and unishek specifically brings up the sight unseen event coming next week obviously we're connecting the dots a little bit right here but i think it was kind of always the plan to release this version of plaza in halo infinite for the sight unseen event to give people some new content something new to jump in and play 343 just lost another key employee for the multiplayer team. Zach Boyce was a major lead over there at 343 when it comes to the multiplayer side of things and just announced that he left stating on Twitter, super excited to join all the talented folks at Riot on Valorant team. Never really expected to leave Halo but some opportunities you can't pass up. Can't wait for folks to get their hands on upcoming updates but this time I'll be there with y'all as a player. Zach has been one of the few very vocal people over at 343 actually interacting with the community giving us a little bit of insight of what's going on with the development of Halo Infinite. I've cited his tweets multiple times, especially the ones talking about action sack eventually coming into Halo Infinite, but they're looking to do something a little different with it and waiting for the Forge creations to really kind of mature into a good point and various other insights when it comes to maps, modes, and different playlists. Now, I don't expect this departure to shake up really anything over at 343. Things are going to be staying the course as they are right now for 2023. Though it does hurt to see one of the people at 343 who are willing to interact with the community go to a different team. In other Halo news coming around this weekend, guys, there is a major tournament with a bunch of pros and content creators for a BTB Invitational, which I'm actually going to be taking part of. This will all be streamed on the Louis V. Titan Twitch page with a two 2000 USD prize pool, Forge maps for this, the Band of Rifle starts, and it's all 12v12. You have notable content creators like Shimmer Accelerate, Active, Extreme Breaker, I Spiteful, Nade God, Unique, why not be casting? Oath, Ubernick, Tarquin, various other pros and community members, as well as myself. It all happens this Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be streaming my perspective on my Twitch channel, link in the description and the pinned comment of this video. Thank you for watching and hope to see you all there. Peace out.